I want to stress, is purely a Pakistan initiative. It's an initiative uh, uh, taken by us. We haven't been asked by anyone to uh, do this. It is our initiative, and I repeat, because it is imperative that we do not allow a conflict to take place because, and I again repeat, there's a vested interest that wants this to happen. And so um, I've been very encouraged uh, talking to you, Mr. President. I'm, I feel encouraged and uh, I will, uh, I go in a very positive uh, uh, frame of mind to Saudi Arabia. And we will act, I repeat, as a facilitator not a mediator, a facilitator. We would like to facilitate talks, uh, as you mentioned in our, uh, during our conversation. In the past, uh, Pakistan has hosted Saudi Arabia and Iran in Islamabad uh, in the past to iron out your differences. And so we are again willing to do the same thing. We again want to facilitate uh, our two brotherly countries uh, to, uh, to uh, iron out your differences uh, and I repeat again, it's, it's complicated, it's complex, but I feel it's possible to resolve these differences. این سفر و انشالله سفری که من روز سه‌شنبه به عربستان خواهم داشت سفر مفید خواهد بود و در این so we heard there the uh, invitation being, being extended by the Prime Minister of Pakistan saying he wanted to host, as he put it, two brotherly countries to iron out their differences. He said that this initiative was a purely Pakistani initiative and he uh, promised to act as a facilitator rather than a mediator, pointing to Pakistani efforts in the past where he said that they had hosted uh, talks between Iranian and Saudi officials. She said it was imperative on the region to realize that conflict is in nobody's interest. And he warned that there were vested interests, as he put it, seeking that. And that would be a, a very dangerous thing, he warned, for the region. This, of course, comes at a very sensitive and critical time for a number of those conflicts uh, which have been raging in the region. In New York, uh, President Trump spoke to me and he wanted to facilitate uh, us to facilitate uh, some sort of a dialogue between Iran and uh, the United States. We discussed things in details. Uh, uh, we, I know, again, there are uh, difficulties involved, but again, we will, uh, whatever we can do to facilitate this dialogue so that the sanctions are lifted and, uh, uh, and a nuclear deal is signed between the two countries, again, uh, whatever we can do, we will happy to facilitate, but we discuss the, in details the issues involved, and we recognize uh, that Iran has certain uh, issues about it. So, so this is an ongoing process, and if we can help, we will be willing to uh, facilitate in the future. And there, I think we just heard uh, Pakistan's Prime Minister try to uh, step in as a facilitator, at the very least, to try and sort out some of the tension around Iran's nuclear program. He uh, referenced there his desire to facilitate a dialogue, he said, until a nuclear deal is signed between the two countries, were his words. That, of course, has been uh, a very sensitive issue since the uh, arise of the Trump administration in the United States of America, where we saw, of course, the U.S. withdraw from the agreement which the U.S. had previously signed with Iran over the curbs put in place to check Iran's nuclear program. And I look forward to meeting His Eminence uh, Ayatollah Khamenei. Thank you very much, Mr. President, and we are waiting for the visit of Mr. Ayatollah Khamenei. All right, so there we have, seems to be the conclusion of that uh, press conference by the Prime Minister of Pakistan, and the president of